Well, you know, theater uh, personally welcomed the Tony Award winning musical Into the Woods, now Into playing the at the Excuse Golden... Me. Yeah, can you sing that a little Yeah. Um, sorry, sure. <laughs> okay, well, it's at the Golden Gate Theater. And uh, because they love finding out what happened after Happily Ever After with their favorite storybook characters. And recently, the actors invited some children and students, uh, or children of students, rather, and volunteers involved with Project Read to participate in a story hour given by the characters of the production. Let's take a look. Once upon a time, in an enchanted place called Queen Wilhelmina's Garden in Golden Gate Park, all the little people gathered anxiously because story hour was about to begin. Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a fair young maiden, a sad young lad, and a childless baker with his wife. The maiden called Cinderella wished more than anything, more than life, to go to the king's festival. The lad named Jack also had a wish. He wished more than anything, more than life, more than riches, that his cow would give him some milk. The baker and the baker's wife were wishing too. They wished more than anything, more than life and more than riches, more than the moon, that they had a child. Cinderella's mother had died and her father had taken for his new wife a woman with two daughters of her own. All three were beautiful of face, but vile and black of heart. And jealous of Cinderella's good qualities, they cruelly thrust her upon the dirtiest tasks around the house. You wish to go to the festival, the stepmother asked mockingly. Look at your nails, chuckled Lucinda, one of Cinderella's stepsisters. Look at your dress, giggled Florinda on the other. You wish to go to the festival and dance before the prince? They all exclaimed and fell down laughing out of control. Jack, on the other hand, had no father, and his mother was concerned about her son and his devotion to his cow, Milky White. You foolish child! Why in heaven's name are you doing for cow inside the house? She demanded. Uh, I'm finished. A warm environment might be just what Milky White needs to produce his milk, replied Jack. It's a she! How many times must I tell you only she can give milk? Besides, she's been dry for a week straight with no food, no money, and no choice but to sell her while she can still command a price. But Milky White is my best friend in the world. Look at her! There are bugs on her dugs. There are flies in her eyes. There's a lump on her rump big enough to be a hump. Son, we've no time to sit and dither while her withers wither, wither, and no one keeps a cow for a friend. What's your name? Maura. What's your favorite story? Um, Snow White and the Seven Doors. Oh, why do you like that? Because it just has some scary parts and some good parts, but at the ending, it has a happy ending. Yeah. Who's your favorite person in that? Snow White. Uh, would you like to be like Snow White? Prince Charming, I understand you have a real crown prince in your own family. He's two and a half, and his name is Stuart? His name is Stuart, yeah, and he, uh, he loves to be read to. I think it's important to encourage uh, children, not just through the vehicle of Into the Woods, but just in general, fairy tales, books, any kind of... Uh, uh, thing to stimulate the minds of our children and as adults I think our show stimulates that for um, the entire family so if we can get people interested in reading and particularly in the fairy tales it'll be good for everybody Shelley Sorensen coordinator for Project Read told me how parents who need help with their own reading skills can share books with their children so, um, we work with um, looking at looking at books and and telling them that it's okay not to read the exact words of a book just to share the pictures and talk about them talk to their children a lot share nursery rhymes and songs with them so all kinds of oral language experiences can really help their kids um, when it's time for them to come to learn how to read themselves and for more information and into the woods call our hotline